get to learn more about business? Oh, absolutely. The School of Hard Knocks, just by mm. trial and error. Trial and error. Uh, there, you know, there was no YouTube back then. Yeah. <laughs> it came around 2005. Mm -hmm. So there was no YouTube. I couldn't go and look up this or look up that. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have a lot of, I didn't have really any personal role models that, that ran businesses. No, no, none of my family members. Mm. Uh, my old boss was the closest I had. And, uh, you know, I left, I parted that company with his blessings. Mm -hmm. um, and he basically said, uh, oh, how did he put it? I can't remember exactly the words he said, but you know, he was he was he was a no nonsense kind of guy. He was just, you know, a matter of fact kind of guy. Mm -hmm. So there were times there was at least one time when I went back to them and had to borrow money to get through. Mm -hmm. And you know, and they actually loaned it to me. Wow. You know, like I said, I parted with on very good conditions. Um I would borrow equipment. Uh Big ladders, because I didn't have anything mm -hmm. when I, initially. I remember one time I was doing this, I got this project for Walmart to do the parking lot lights, to do some repairs, and I needed a bucket truck. And I got on the phone and I called my old boss and said, hey man, you know, uh, can I use your bucket truck? And I was fully, fully prepared to pay him to, mm -hmm. you know, a rental fee. To rent it, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not calling you to ask you to, you know, to just let me have something like that. But yeah, he, he, he sent two guys. He sent one guy, I mean, he sent two guys out there. Uh, one guy followed another guy. One guy driving the bucket truck, and the other guy followed him so he could take the other guy back, full of gas, every, the whole night, never charged me a dime. Hmm. Didn't even, didn't even come up. Are you serious? So, I'm totally serious. So that right there was kind of a, a catalyst for me mm -hmm. in learning how to build business relationships. Yes, yes and how important business relationships are. Absolutely. Because, you you know, I, I just couldn't uh, 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 imagine that somebody would be willing to do that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, had, I faced many challenges early on. And I remember another time I had, I landed this contract. Uh, a guy I had hired got a lead on a on a on a on a, uh, a customer that needed like some lights and, some, and a ceiling fan on that back porch, they enclosed the, the back back porch in, screened it in. So we went and put ceiling fans, some lights, and outlets on the back porch after they closed it in. And it just so happens this guy had a contact with uh, one of the local transit authorities. Mm -hmm. Now he was no contractor, but he got the contract to do basically the bus stops for a new uh, county transit system. Mm -hmm. It was a million dollar contract that he got. The electrical portion on that was a quarter of a million. And he handed it to me. Hmm. Right? I didn't so even have to walk away from that, from that contract. Oh, wow. So he subcontracted to you. Yeah, yeah. He had to hold the general, the whole okay. project, so everything. But the electrical portion, since I had done the electrical at his home, mm -hmm. he just handed me the contract for the electrical. So what what happened? Well, I found out that I didn't. I really found out that I knew nothing about running a business. Oh <laughs> man, that was my first real hard lesson that I was clueless about how to run a business and how to manage people. Manage people. Okay. Cause I was hiring people left and right. I had like, I had to go out and find a bunch of people to do this job. So mm -hmm. I knew a bunch of guys over the years that I worked with through the temporary agencies and through, you know, other business, other companies that I worked for. So I was mm -hmm. able to pull in like 10 people, 10 guys to do that job. Spend all this money up front on material and end up having to walk away from the project. Is there a reason why you walked away? Wasn't making any money. Wasn't getting oh, money. okay. Wasn't completing. What we had to do was these uh, bus stops have these, they have these lighted displays on them, mm -hmm. like for advertising and stuff. Yes. So they all that requires power. That's what we was doing. We was running power to each of these bus stops. Bus stops. Okay. You know the ones that the covered that you sit you, you sit down is like it's correct. Yes. Yeah. So we were running the power to those from the nearest power source, mm -hmm. and each one it was two hundred fifty of them. Each one paid a thousand dollars. Yeah. So. 
it was taking two weeks to complete one. Just one? Just one. Oh, wow. Because of the conditions, I rented equipment to dig and trench. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I had no idea how to how to how to manage that project. Now I was a foreman for the last for the last couple couple companies I worked for. Okay, I could run those jobs with no problem. But when it came time to getting out there and doing this this project <laughs> on my own, yes, it's like it's like I was clueless. It, it wasn't like I was clueless. I was clueless. Mm. No idea how to manage this thing. Wow. All I saw were dollar signs. Wow, you know? and that's when I first that's when I first learned, and I hadn't even heard the concept, but I learned the concept: all money ain't good money. That's true. That's true. Because that's one I should have never taken. Wow. But again, I had built a good enough relationship with the guy and the mm -hmm. project manager for the county that we parted amicably. Mm -hmm. See, they they knew I was falling behind. So they was looking at it like we need to do something. And the day I stepped into the office and into the meeting with the two of them and said, look, I can't handle this. They was they were relieved. It was like, OK, because they didn't really want to just fire me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, um, but that's a that's a lesson that we learn in life. You know, um, you learn from those lessons and and you move on and that makes you better. So what, what did you have other opportunities like that come later after that contract? Many, not not to 